Hi there. Uh, this is a uh, video on elementary uh, OS 5.1 Hera. Um, I've installed it a, a few weeks ago, been playing with it, and uh, some things I like, other things I don't like, um, particular, particularly with, uh, oh, I don't know, there seems to be some bugs or issues I'm uh, having, and I'm led to believe it's the um, OS itself. However, it could be a hardware thing or even something I have uh, set up incorrectly, but um, I've used many distros, so this seemed odd that I had these kind of issues. So they will be in the show notes uh, towards the bottom. I describe what issues I've had and my take on this distro as a whole. Um, aesthetically, it's quite pleasing. Um, you know, the design, they've done a, a great job with a, a lot of the, uh, the configuration and how it looks. Um, but I'll just begin with, uh, oh, I guess something that would be immediate at the moment. Um, there is a um, application that you can install. Uh, let's see, it, it is called Desktop Folder. And that allows you to, to uh, place some of your documents, uh, various items on the desktop. Um, what I've noticed with this little app that you can install is you'll notice the text colors are, in, a, in theory, they should be white. Um, you might say, well, that's not a big deal. Well, it can be depending on the, the type of uh, wallpaper you're using. If it's a dark, dark wallpaper, this will be harder to see. Um, so I guess there, what I would say is that I would assume it's just they haven't configure this to work with uh, having the proper text color. Maybe it has to do with transparency, um, but this should be fixed in the distro if they're going to have this application for you to be able to use. Uh, so desktop folder, if you right click, you'll have these some other options that you wouldn't have with the right click to um, uh, use your uh, documents on the desktop. So, you know, you can sort them, you can reorganize the icons. Um, uh, it may, there may be some other features that are default uh, without this app, but these are some of them anyway. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, well, let me, let's bring up the show notes because that will help me uh, remember what I wanted to elaborate here. Um, so I give a link to where you can inst where you can download Elementary. Um, I talk about updating, upgrading the system, system cleanup. Um, now Elementary Tweaks is a nice little app that uh, you do have to install it in a, with your with the terminal if you're going to install it. Um, to my knowledge, so it, it describes here. How to do that uh, then in your applications you have your uh, app center um, and so you can install some items that way but I don't think you can get uh, tweaks there but let me see well and then again it may show up here for some reason that it didn't before um, let's just see what happens tweaks no, they have gnome tweaks. So it's not gnome tweaks. It's it is called tweaks, and uh, I am correct. You have to use your terminal to install this elementary tweaks. Um, once I've installed that, I, then I installed um, things through the App Center, uh, Synaptic Package Manager, Desktop Folder. If you want items on your desktop, it describes a little more about it here. Uh, then Synaptic Package Manager installs uh, GDEB, allows you to do some um, dev files if you want to install the dev files. Um, LibreWriter Libre I installed. Um, you need to in install the little GT GTK3 to help with the menu text and if you're enabling a dark theme with uh, tweaks. Um, I use KeyPass. I installed Chromium, Firefox, um, Bleachbit. I used uh, the Breeze cursor theme. Uh, I think it looks nicer. Uh, I also changed the uh, file manager to Kja. 
the notepad I'm using is Pluma. So those items are from uh, Mate or Mate. Um, I added Nomax as an additional uh, image um, viewer, uh, etc. Uh, Audacious, MP, Audacious for music, MPV for video. They have their own apps installed, but uh, I wanted more versatility, maybe more compatibility, uh, maybe more user friendliness uh, or familiarity on my part. And those are the reasons why I installed some of these uh, optional uh, applications. Um, I also installed Opera, uh, Qubit Torrent. So Opera was with a dev file, Qubit Torrent is with a PPA. I uh, changed the icon theme to Corla because I like it, and it shows you that here. I uninstalled, uh, because I'm not using the Epiphany browser in Mail, I don't use a Mail client. Um, you can uh, change the launch key, the, your I guess it would be your Windows key, uh, if you wish. and it, I, hopefully these items will be in the show notes. It, I do have a limitation to how much uh, data I can put in my show notes, so I will try to put whatever I can. Uh, then down below are the issues or possible bugs and my uh, note at the bottom. So um, this is to help those who are interested in this distro, and I think that's it. Um, hope this helps some of you, and thanks for watching.